We have one little watermelon set there. Whether it'll get bigger, I don't know. That's the one that was under the marigold, which is getting a little bigger, but it's really odd shaped. It looks more like a gourd. And that one appeared uh, about maybe 12 days ago, and it's taking off. So we might get three more off of it, which would be nice. Uh, and the weeds have basically taken over my patch. And my canna should be five or six feet tall, but that's some really poor soil over there. And I didn't put much compost or anything in it. Put a little bit, but not what it needed. And whenever they get three feet tall and start flowering, that's about as tall as they're going to get. But anyway, the tubers under the ground, I forget what kind of uh, bulbs, tubers, corms, rhizomes, whatever they're called. Uh, they'll get bigger and healthier because they are getting sunlight. And they will get bigger. And they were a little dried out when I planted them. And that didn't help them any. Because it took them a long time just to fill back in to grow. And the okra, this is, uh, I'm 5 foot 11, the camera's probably, you know, 4 or 5 inches down from the top of my head. So, it's all getting up there pretty good. We've got peppers, and we've got a few cukes, very few, and we've got plenty of tomatoes. We've got a fair amount of string beans, and we've got a few butter beans, enough for maybe a couple of three meals. And, uh, freezer full of vegetables. And right now, as you can see, I need to pick some of these cherries. Because there's some red ones in there. And it uh, got down in the 50s the last couple of nights and again t t tonight. And it's been nice today. I mean, probably high 70s. But those 50 degree temperatures will slow these plants down. They like it hot. And I got a few better boys hiding in here. Need to pick. Anyway, that's about all I got for an update. Get a little congested down through there with the okra and the peppers and the tomatoes all together and some big marigolds. 